much fun! The wyverns weren't as scary as I thought they'd be. I'm just glad they didn't eat you. Huh. Too bad they didn't eat Alvin the traitor. Oh, did I forget to mention wyverns only eat children? But they don't eat their flesh. They nibble away at their souls. So gently that the kids don't even notice. While you were enjoying soaring through the sky, most of your soul could have been chewed away. That's a lie! That's total nonsense! Oh, I was right to be afraid! <laughs> they make it too easy. Thank you for everything. Please return home safely. For my brother as well. You have my word, young madam. Then let's be off. I believe we just need to follow this road to reach Fenmont. Yeah, let's go. And the walking begins. I'm sure you can see why it wouldn't be practical to ride the Wyverns into Fenmont. You'd get spotted right away! Yes, there'd be no avoiding a battle, and civilians would get dragged into it. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But is it really okay to leave the wyverns alone like that? They shouldn't have anything to fear from the monsters. Because the monsters are their friends? Oh, no, no. The wyverns may look docile, but they can be quite tough when they need to be. Monsters aren't their friends. Monsters are their food. Really? Oh, I was right to be afraid! Oh dear. Jude, your clothes are torn. Please, hold still for a moment. Be done in just a jiffy here. Wow, as good as new. Thanks. Nice job. Those are Jude's best clothes, you know. He spent days fretting over exactly what to get. He bought them for his move to Fenmont because he was terrified he'd look like a country bumpkin. Hmm. That's surprisingly adorable of you. Go right ahead. Blab all my secrets. That's a fine story. Please, take good care of them. How did you get to be so good at sewing, anyway? I learned it when I was in the military. Originally, it was just so I could sew up the lips of any of my men who leaked vital information. After that, I took up needlepoint as a hobby. Oh, that's such an embarrassing story, though. Let's keep that a secret between us. <laughs> Guess that's one secret she won't spill. Uh -huh. Ah, what a relief. I should have known things would be fine at the manor. Yeah, Drissel really kept things together. Oh, I knew Lady Drissel would do fine. I have great faith in her strength of spirit. Then what were you so concerned about? I couldn't stop worrying that I had forgotten to shut off my bedroom lamp. You were that worried about a lamp? What if I had caused a fire? I couldn't get the thought out of my mind. I can relate to that. Once the worry sets in, it never leaves. Ever since I left home, I've been wondering if I remembered to close the lid on my bottle of dried gels. I certainly hope you did. Dried gels swell up and burst if they absorb too much moisture. Maybe I should send a letter home and ask Dad to check. We're on our way to pick a fight with a king, and this is what keeps you up at night? Alvin. Thanks. Yes. Let's do this! I will fulfill my mission, no matter what happens. I'm right there with you. Nice job. You did well, Elise. Oh no, it was nothing. No need to be modest. Or did it suddenly get all dark? That's the night climb. We must be close to Fenmont. Open up! Oh, 
It stretches. It eats. Just what is Tipo? Such a grand mystery. What's going on? Hey, look! Isn't that... The lab! The Lance of Kresnik is in there. Let's go. Back in Fenmont at last. All thanks to you and the others. Can you believe this is where we first met? That feels like forever ago. I suppose it does. This probably isn't something I need to say again, but... I know. There's no time for waxing sentimental. Right. Hey Jude, is that your school? Yeah, it is. I mean, it was. I doubt they consider me a student anymore. Back in Fenmont after a five-year absence. I never imagined my return would be like this. No, not yet, unfortunately. Me neither. Ah, you guys better hurry. You don't have much time. What are spirits? You could say they're an invisible presence that permeates our entire world. You could say they're the font of spirit arts, feeding off the mana from human mana lobes. You could say they're the guiding hand that turns the wheel of all existence in Reza Maxia. In other words, the symbiotic relationship between human and spirit is at the core of every facet of our lives. But we don't know when this relationship began. How did humans and spirits relate before our modern spirit art culture? What was the world like then? Ah, it's hopeless. Once again, the sun is setting without any answers in sight. Uh, this is Fenmont? The sun never rises. Ever since Professor House disappeared, I've been up to my ears in work. Where did he go, anyway? And why would he disappear the day he won the HAL Prize? Something must have happened to him. Just between us, remember how the military came in and searched the school on the day the professor disappeared? When they went through his office, they confiscated every document of his they could find. So that investigation wasn't related to the warrant out for Jude? That was their official reason, but I wonder what their real objective was. First his reward was rescinded without explanation, then everything he ever worked on was confiscated. There's nothing normal about that. What was the professor even working on? I heard he was researching a theory that involved using spirits without providing them any mana. Is that even possible? Apparently he'd had some success, but I wouldn't get too interested if I were you. If you stick your nose too far into it, you might disappear too. Come on, don't say things like that. So that means Professor House was researching something similar to the Lance of Kresnik. Are you okay? Mr. Eldon? Doc. Dr. Jude? Lie still. You're hurt pretty badly. Uh, listen to me, Doc. She tricked us. One of the researchers was actually an Ajul spy. When I tried to arrest her, she blew up the entire testing chamber. We'll carry the wounded to the hospital. Come with me. Sounds like Gaius is making his move. We can't waste any more time.
Now what? Doesn't sound like knocking will get us in. The Lance of Kresnik is just beyond this door. There's got to be another way in. Let's look for it. What was that? What? You okay? I don't know anything. I'm sorry. Isn't she? It's the mayor! Hang in there! The mayor of Hamil? They did say that the Rashigal army invaded the village. Ah, all the villagers froze and solid. No! No! Hey, come back to us. Don't give up. <coughs> oh no! Mayor! It's Professor House all over again. The villagers were frozen solid? What could that mean? Is this what Gaius's henchwoman meant when she said the power of a great spirit? This woman was knocking on death's door. She might have been delusional. Either way, this is unforgivable. I wonder if it'll work the same. Are you thinking about the mayor? Mm -hmm. I understand how you feel. My teacher at school was killed by that same awful machine. It's not that. It's that I'm not actually sad at all. Is Elise a heartless monster? Elise. Do you think she got what she deserved? Of course not. The mayor suffered horribly. What happened was so awful. Would a heartless monster get so mad about what happened to the mayor? Would she shed tears over it? No, I guess not. We have to destroy that stupid lance! Can this contraption help us? It might let us look in on the lance. Here's the video feed. That's remarkable, Jude. There's nothing there. Huh? The lance of Kresnik is gone. Did that explosion destroy it? Surely it would leave some wreckage behind. Perhaps the lance was moved before the explosion occurred. That's the only logical explanation. But moved to where? Mila, look! I found a recording of what happened. Is that the spy Mr. Eldon talked about? That girl. She's the one from our last visit. You're right. She was the one that attacked us. Hey, what she got there? It looks like someone discovered her ruse, so she detonated a bomb. But isn't she a Najul spy? If I were in her shoes, I wouldn't risk my life like that even if my cover was blown. In the game of espionage, a dead body can still provide valuable intel. Then how about this? Maybe she planned to blow up the lance all along, and Mr. Eldon finding her was just a coincidence. If Jude's theory is true, then it's likely that the girl didn't know the lance had left the facility. That means she's now either on her way to the location where the lance was taken, or trying to find out where that location is. In either case, we might find out something if we can catch her. According to the timestamp on the video, the explosion only happened half an hour ago. Then she's probably still in the city. We need to find that girl. You went to medical school here, didn't you? 
Uh, young students burning with passion, living their dreams. I bet you miss those days. Not really. We studied and trained all day every day. I never did anything particularly memorable. <sighs> Lame. That is so you. Even those days of toil will one day be treasures to you. I would have liked to have gone to school myself. You should have. Maybe you'd have learned how to behave like a normal person. Did you go to school, Leia? Sure did. I was the class vice president. Ah, oh, then going to school doesn't seem to help with behavior at all. <laughs> you might be right about that. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! There she is, the girl in red. I know you. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> I finally get to finish you off! And it's not even my birthday. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your little psychotic episode, but we really need to ask you something. <laughs> Why would I answer you, Claude? Wait, I have seen you before. Is it possible? Are you Lady Nadia of House Travis? Huh? I seem to be correct. But what would compel an heiress of one of the six ruling houses to spy for Ajur? I don't know anything about that stinking house. I'm Agria the Shadowless of the Chimeriad. The Chimeriad again? So you're working for Gaius. What's it to you? You tried to destroy the Lance of Kresnik. Well, duh. <laughs> we want to destroy it too. That makes us allies. If you know where the lance was taken, tell us. <laughs> like I'd tell you anything. Please, you want to destroy it for the same reason we do, right? Because it's dangerous? You reek. <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. Before I destroy the lance, I'll use it to blast Rashigul to itty bitty bits. <laughs> what is your problem? We're working our butts off to save the world, and you think it's funny to stand in our way? <laughs> you really do stink! What are you, five? You think you can fill the world with rainbows and kittens just by working hard? <laughs> that sweet reek of yours is giving me brain decay. What's your beef with hard work? Zip it, you little pimple, or I'll pop you. Uh, excuse me? I still remember the agony you caused me that day. This girl is making my head hurt. No fear. <laughs> you seriously think? What the hell? Stand in our way and we'll be forced to cut you down. Whatever. It's time we got rid of the damn stink around here. Go! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Go! No! Amazing things! No! I'll cover you. How important is that? I'm feeling it now. Fangs of ice. Look out! Yeah. Yeah. Look out! Yeah. Look out! Yeah. All right, bring it on! Yeah. Go! Final Fury! You with me? You have 
to be kidding me. Um... What's wrong? Mila, I don't stink, do I? No, you're totally fine. Ah! Did I ask you? I should warn you. I'm still not used to the sensation of sweating during exertion. Couple that with my somewhat clumsy sword grip, and well, you might consider being a little more cooperative. Where is the lance? Hm. A secret passageway runs under the laboratory. It connects to Orta Palace. And that is? That's the palace Noctigal rules from. I've never heard of this passageway. Is it still usable? Only if you're a worm. It's caved in now. So we can't use it. Hey, get back here! Maxwell, one of these days, I'm going to rip that pretty face of yours to pieces! And you, pimple! Listen up! Work, 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 as hard as that scrawny body of yours can handle, and you'll still wind up with only two things. Jack and squat! Why do you say stuff like that? That girl has serious issues. Order Palace, the enemy stronghold. We should be careful. I know. Let's check things out first. <laughs> <laughs> 